This video shows how to create Arduino library for the HD 16K33 4 digit 14 segment display. Within the Arduino environment, a library provides the interface to a specific piece of hardware. This interface is called API, Application Programmer Interface. API is a set of functions that the library user includes in the C++ sketch. Libraries simplify the process of using hardware and thus unraveling complex protocol. A library can be published online such as GitHub and used by other programmers. Creating Arduino library begins by writing the header file which will have extension .h. The header file will declare the names of classes and methods used in the library and will be referenced within the C++ sketch using the hash include directive. Next we write the source file which will have extension .cpp and this source file will have the code for the methods defined in the header file. Then we write the keywords file which will color code the keywords used in the library and finally we add some examples to the library which will have extension .ino. This diagram shows the folder structure for the HD 16K33 library. Within the Arduino libraries folder we create our folder for the library which is named HD 16K33 display. Inside this folder we create the examples folder and the files source file, header file and the keywords file. The names of the source file and the header file must be same as the name of the library folder here. Within the examples folder we create subfolders which will contain our example sketches. In this case we have a demo folder which contains the demo sketch with extension INO. Before we go into detail on how to create the library Let's have a look at the available library functions. We have display initialization which will initialize the HD16K33. It has two arguments. The first argument is the slave address of the device and the second argument is the brightness level which is between 0 and 15. The second function is display clear which has one argument the address of the device. The purpose is to clear the four digit display. Function display string will display a four character text on the module. It has two arguments, the address of the device and between double quotation the string value. Function display number will display a number between 0 and 9 on the selected digit. It has three arguments, the address of the device, the second argument is the digit position, so this is digit 0, digit 1, 2, and 3. And the third argument is the number to be displayed on the digit. Next we have function display number with decimal point, which is similar to function display number, but it will also show the decimal point after the number. Next we have function display character which will display an alphanumeric character on the selected digit. Again it has three arguments the address of the device, the digit position and the between single quotation the character to be displayed. I'll be using Visual Studio Code to create and edit the library files namely the header file, the source file, the INO file and the keywords file. We begin with the header file which is used to define the class within the library and the methods available or the functions available within the class. We have included the wire library within the header file since it will be used inside the source file. These two macros are header guards which prevent the header file from multiple inclusion when the sketch is uh, compiled. Next we define the class which has a name HD16K33 display. 
In general, a class will have two parts, the private section and the public section. In this example, we only have the public section, which has the definition of the constructor and the methods used in the library. The name of the constructor must be the same name given to the class. And the constructor is used to declare objects within the C++ sketch. The methods here are the function prototypes and their definition will be explained in detail inside the source file. Next we look at the source file and here within the source file we have included the library arduino.h since within the source file we'll be using standard arduino data types and functions. Next we include our HD16K33 display library or the header file we have just created. And here we have the prototype for the uh, constructor and these are prototypes of functions that are used inside the source file. The main objective of the source file is to define the methods declared within the header file. So we begin with the display initialization method which has two arguments. The first argument is the address of the device and the second argument is the brightness level. And using the I squared C protocol, we send three bytes in order to initialize the device and set the brightness level. Method display character has three arguments, the address of the device, the digit at which we want to display the character and the character value itself. And using function convert, we send the character value so that it is converted into a 16-bit value and using the I squared C protocol, we first send the digit value and then we send the 16-bit value in order to display it on the digit. Method display string has two arguments, the address of the device and the string constant. And using this function here, we convert the string constant into character array and using the this for loop and the I squared C protocol, we send the four characters to be displayed on the module. Method display number has three arguments, the address of the device, the digit at which we want to display the number, and an integer number between 0 and 9. And using the switch statement, then we convert the input number between 0 and 9 into a character between 0 and 9 that can be displayed on the selected digit. Method display number with decimal point is similar to the previous method except here the the number will be displayed on the selected digit with the decimal point LED turned on. Method display clear has one argument the address of the device and executing the display character method four times and sending the null character to that digit, we are clearing the four digit display. The source file also has function convert, which receives a character value and using the switch statement, the equivalent 16-bit value is uh, selected that can be sent to the device and displayed on the digit. Finally, function convert decimal point will receive an integer number between 0 and 9 and using the switch statement, the equivalent 16-bit value for that uh, number is obtained, which is also ORed with this 16-bit uh, value in order to turn on the decimal point LED on the display. Next, we look at the keywords file, which is optional. And this file is used to color code the data types and methods used in the library. Keyword 1 is used to color code the constructor. Keyword 2 is used to color code the methods. Next, we install the created library into the Arduino IDE. And now we have access to the demo sketch. So we go to File, Examples, and then search for the library HD16K33 display and fetch the demo sketch. A quick look at the demo sketch, we've included the wire library and the 
uh, created HD16K33 display library. Here we are declaring this object to the constructor. And within the setup function, we first initialize the I squared C of the microcontroller. And then through the object, we initialize the HD16K33 display and the brightness level is set to 8. And then using this function, we clear the display. Inside the loop function, we first display text time for a second and then clear the display and then we display from for a second and then we clear the display and then we display 0 to 9 for 2 seconds and then we clear the display next we display t equals s and then using this for loop we display a count from 0 to 9 on digit 2 and then we clear the display and repeat the process. In this second demo example, a count from 0 to 99 is displayed on the HD16K33. Inside the loop function, we first display the text play for a second and then we clear the display and then we display C equals and then using this nested for loop where we display on the outer loop the most significant digit of the count and using the inner loop we display the least significant digit In this third demo, we are displaying temperature and humidity from DHT22 sensor. Inside the loop function, we call this function to display temperature. Inside function display temperature, we get the temperature value from the sensor, and then we extract the most significant digit of the temperature, and then extract the least significant digit and then extract the fraction part of the temperature and then display on the first digit the most significant digit and then on the second digit the least significant digit on the third we display the fraction and then we display on the fourth digit the character C back inside the loop function while the temperature is being displayed every two seconds after 30 seconds this if statement becomes true and then we call this function display humidity inside function display humidity we get the humidity value from the sensor and then we extract the least and the most significant digits and then we display on the first digit of the display the character H and then display on the second and third digit the humidity value and then display on the last digit P for percentage. In future videos, more Arduino libraries will be created for other devices. Thank you for watching.